This week's movies, Divergent, The Missing Picture, Nymphomaniac Volume 1. You need to see it, right? Let's go see Daddy's favorite place. Nymphomaniac Volume 1 follows the sexual journey of a woman from youth to adulthood. In her review, Manola Dargis writes, Mr. Von Trier is a brilliant, unorthodox director of actors who plays with performance the way other filmmakers play with light. The acting in his work is often unpredictable. One minute, his actors are dragging you deep into the story with raw emotion. The next, they're pushing you out of the movie with brittle, self-conscious artificiality. His is a cinema of shocks. The problem with aesthetic shocks is that their power can drain off and their original effects become harder to replicate. So this is where it all happened. Mon enfance à moi, c'était les studios de cinéma avec un voisin réalisateur. The Missing Picture is a documentary told in large part through clay figurines about a child who hangs on to life in the Cambodian killing fields during the reign of the Khmer Rouge. The audacity of The Missing Picture is equaled only by its soulfulness. The figurines, in their diorama-like setting, initially help keep what happens on screen at somewhat of an intellectual remove. In time, though, the clay figures begin to change, as does your relationship to them. First, they become characters, and then, with alchemical mystery and deep feeling, they turn into people. The depth of emotion that Mr. Pond solicits from you is startling as he fills in the missing picture of this lost world and reclaims the very human individuality that the Khmer Rouge sought to obliterate. Points for bravery, Stiff. In Divergent, an adaptation of the young adult novel series, a girl uncovers a plot that puts her life in danger. In her review, Manola Dargis writes, while Divergent celebrates individuality and breaking out of the little box that its authoritarian leaders insist on putting teenagers in, the story sticks to the familiar gender template. Girl warrior meets boy warrior, and in between punches, kicks, and bullets, they hold hands. Lots of things happen, of course, as per the dystopian rulebook, but for all the jumping and scaling of heights, the movie remains grounded. But it's finally galling because women will never break out of the representational ghetto they've been relegated to if you watch a movie like this one and think that the heroine, at least metaphorically, throws like a girl. I know what you are.